We celebrate with songs of praise for Christ by whom all things were made, himself has fasted and has prayed. Alone and fasting, Moses saw the loving God who gave the law unto Fasting came the steeds and chariots of flame. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, it is good that we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the Father's right hand. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. God is our refuge. 
Moses of God of Jacob. There is a stream whose run like slat in the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The, the Lord, Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Christ, glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, God. Glory, Glory to, you. to you, O Lord. There is a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the sheep gate. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. So during these days of Lent, when we prepare the elect for the waters of baptism and the Easter sacraments, we hear in our first reading about a stream of life-giving water flowing out from the temple, the place of God's presence, and this water giving God's life in a natural way. In the, this passage from John, we see also the importance of water, giving life. We see Jesus arriving at the Sheep Gate at Bethesda and up the place where all of the ill gather, hoping to 
to be healed and sitting at the water when the water stirs uh, the first one to get in um, they have the promise of being healed so Jesus comes in this place where the, the sick are gathered, hoping to be healed. And he who is, uh, through whom all things were made, he arrives and um, he satisfies the desire of the man who wishes to be well. We see a dialogue going on. He through whom all things were made, offers the fullness of life to the man who was ill. Jesus satisfies his desire. This man certainly hoped for life, hoped for healing, and, um, and he saw it in the waters. But Jesus arrived as the giver of the waters, the giver of healing, the giver of life. In these Lenten days in which we all experience our frailty in a, in a new way, and with this national and international pandemic, we, we in a renewed way, uh, have a deeper sense of our frailty we know that there are many ways in which God mediates his healing to us. Certainly, just a simple thing, the naturalness of water, we're told to wash our hands, and that that is one of the first lines of defense for this pandemic. So God's healing is mediated through nature. This, this a little thing like washing hands. God's healing is mediated through the wisdom of the healers in our midst, our doctors and nurses, our research scientists. That's another way in which God mediates his healing, if we are to listen. You know, and then the man in this reading says, Yes, I want to be healed, but, but I'm not able to throw myself into the pool. Someone seems to be there before I can. So often we encounter obstacles to healing, and we think that that's the end of the story. But our God is greater than the end of our story. God offers... Um, healings beyond our imagining, and a life beyond our imagining. So this that we bring to the might of God our desire, and God weds our desire to his glory during these Lenten days as we rely upon God's love and mercy and his life-giving presence in our lives. So at every turn during these Lenten days, we as a community are available to the many, many ways in which God mediates to us his life. We gather with simple gifts of bread and wine, touched by God, and transformed into the person of Jesus, uh, mediating his life to us to sustain us to eternal life. So during these Lenten days, we claim for ourselves, just as that man, the sick man, claimed for himself, we claim those healing waters we claim God's mediated life to us 
and we claim God's eternal life to us during these Lenten days. In loving confidence, we place all of our needs before the Lord. We thank you, God our Father, and Jesus our Savior, for the knowledge and mortality you have given us through him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Pour out your spirit on us, your servants. Make us sincere in our love for each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. You instructed man to labor and to exercise dominion over the earth. May our work honor you and sanctify our brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of the youth of our diocese that they may find life in the gospel and through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, live it to the fullest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, in confidence we place these needs before you. May all of our needs draw us closer to you and to one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you, O Lord, these gifts which you have yourself bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come through Christ our Lord. Thank you all for being here, for joining us today. Do have a good day. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.
Forty nights you were fasting in the wild. Forty days and forty nights tempted and yet undefiled. Shall not we your sorrow share and from worldly joys abstain, fasting with unceasing prayer, strong with you to suffer pain?